us, we're still the first people in the America. Allow us to begin. Lately on TikTok, there has been rumors that the Bering Strait theory has been debunked. Is that really the case? What if I told you that these people haven't been here for no thousands of years? In fact, they only been here for a couple of hundreds of years. Have you ever heard of the conquest to Peru and Mexico by John Ranke? Allow me to show you the subject. The subject is history of South America, places America continent, South America, Peru, North America, Mexico. But you see, it's history. This book can be found on the Internet Archive. The name of this book is called The Historical Researches of the Conquest of Peru, Mexico, Bogota, Neches, and Ptolemaico in the 13th century by the Mongols, accompanied with elephants of the local agreement of history and the traditions in the remains of elephants and mastodons found in the New World. You can find this book in the Gaddy Research Institute. And the Gaddy Institute is basically a research museum that's located in Los Angeles. Now, let's tap into this book real quick. You can find this book on the Internet Archives. Here we go. In the sixth page of the introduction of the researchers of the wars and sports of the Mongols and Rome, the writer hinted having met with some indications a connection between Asia and America long before the discovery of the New World by Columbus. From that time, he has kept this object in view, and such has been the success. And from that time, he has kept this subject in view, and such has been the success of his further inquiries that he now ventures confidently to affirm that Peru, Mexico, and other countries in America were conquered by the Mongols, accompanied with elephants in the 13th century. When Columbus, on his arrival in the New World, inquired of some natives respecting the gold of which they made their ornaments, they answered him, Cuba Nunkin. It was produced in Cuba, and so full of his mind of Marco Polo in the East Indies that he imagined them to be speaking of the Grand Khan Kubla, who was the Mongol Empire of China of more than half of the population of the globe. Then Polo was in that country. Such was the most ignorance of the most sagacious geographer that had ever appeared respecting the extinct of the earth that he supposed himself arrived in the Mongol Empire when he was 150 degrees short of it and you skipped on down and it says in the year 1521 that that it was proved to be so a temple in considerable comparative degree of civilization will be found in Ptolemaico in the north latitude of 39 west of Lake Erie but the people bear evidence of the Mongol origin you could have the Baron Street. There's more evidence. Follow my YouTube.